because of their medical histories. One of them is Neosha Ponder, who is fighting breast cancer and currently undergoing radiation treatment. Neosha. Senator Cruz, if Obamacare is repealed, is there anything you can do to ensure the provisions are in place so that half of my paycheck won't be spent on health care? I didn't ask for cancer. Yeah. I never smoked. I never drank a lot. I've lived a pretty healthy lifestyle. I fear that I fear that if Obama, if I don't have Obamacare, if I'm not covered, then my pre-existing condition of breast cancer and remaining treatments will make it difficult for me to afford insurance. Senator Cruz, what can you do to protect people like me who are alive because of Obamacare? Well, Neil, th thank you for asking that question. And, and how, long, how long have you been diagnosed with breast cancer? I was diagnosed on April 25th, 2016. Oh, wow. Well, you, well you're, you're doing great. Th you know, we're, our prayers are with you. I'll tell you, my mom had breast cancer. And, and my mom was diagnosed in 2000. I, I sat by her hospital bed as she went through two surgeries. And, and it's a horrible disease, but 16 years later, thank God she is a survivor. And, and I will tell you, our medical innovation has been incredible dealing with breast cancer. And so all of us, our, our prayers and thoughts are with you. Thank you. Uh, you know, you asked about people who get sick and not wanting your insurance canceled, not wanting your premiums to go up. That's absolutely right. That is absolutely right. And, and if you look at every proposal that's been submitted, every, every significant proposal that's been submitted to replace Obamacare, to fix the problems in the health care system after Obamacare has gotten rid of, all of them protect people in your situations. All of them prohibit insurance companies from canceling someone because they got sick. They prohibit insurance companies from jacking up the insurance rates because they got sick or injured. Look, the whole point of insurance is, is none of us know if we're going to wake up tomorrow like you did earlier, earlier last year and discover we have a terrible disease. And, and, and we buy insurance, we pay our premiums just so we, we know that we'll be able to take care of that situation. So absolutely we got to fix it and I'm confident that we're going to. Senator Sanders, response. Senator, I cannot believe what you just said. <laughs> it's a direct contradiction to everything you ran for president on. What Ted has said is he wants to get rid of all federal mandates. Did you say that a hundred times? I didn't say it once. I will, said Ted Cruz, <laughs> I will get, get rid of every word of Obamacare. Excuse me. The only way that we are going to make sure that you and we all wish you the best are able to get the health insurance you need with a pre-existing condition is to make sure that no insurance company in this country can say no to you or to anybody else. Now, Ted thinks that's a terrible government intrusion. I think it is the moral and right thing to do. So when you hear uh, Ted and other Republicans say, we're going to get rid of all of Obamacare. We're going to leave it to the states. Well, what do you think the states are going to do? You think they're going to maintain the uh, ability to, to protect people with pre-existing conditions? They're not. We're going to go back to the obscenity of where we were before Obamacare was passed. Senator Cruz, your response, and in it, could you just clarify, will you support anything that doesn't mandate people with pre-existing conditions continue to have coverage? Look, my response, as I said hundreds of times on the campaign trail, yes, we should repeal every word of Obamacare. Mm -hmm. But if you listen to the next sentence, I always said, we're not done yet with health care reform. And we do that. We need health care reform and the principles of health care reform. They should expand competition. They should empower patients. And they should keep government from getting between you and your doctor. And I talked about all sorts of common sense ideas to do just that. And, and as I said, a proposal that is consistent in virtually every one of the pieces of Republican legislation that's been filed is a prohibition on insurance companies canceling people because they got sick. And, and you know, Bernie, it's, it's, it's easy to say to people, gosh, you're going to lose your coverage. What do the Democrats say? Okay. To the six million well, people well, well, who had their Ted, health insurance Ted, canceled. Ted, you're what, a good lawyer and you use words well. <laughs> Thank you. What you just said is cancel your insurance. Cancel your insurance, okay? That's good. But what happens if tomorrow you wake up and you go to the doctor and you discover that you have cancer? All right? You just discovered it. And the insurance companies say, hey, you're not a good deal for us. We can't make money off of you. You will not get that health insurance. So I think when people like Ted talk about repealing Obamacare, repealing government mandates, 
This is a government mandate, and it is a damn good mandate and a humane mandate. And Senator Cruz, if you would answer Naosha's specific question. I, I did, multiple which, times, Dan. Okay, so, so you are saying that she will continue to have health care, yeah. she and others who have pre existing conditions, and you're going to make sure that that is a mandate and a requirement in whatever legislation you support? What I've said is, is virtually all of the Republican legislation that has been filed that the Democrats have opposed maintains a continuity of coverage so that insurance companies can't cancel policies. And, you know, the question I asked a minute ago that, that Bernie chose not to answer is what do the Democrats say to the six million people who had their insurance policies canceled, who got a notification in the mail that, that you don't get to see your doctors anymore, and not just the people who were canceled. There are people all over this country who can't afford health insurance because of Obamacare, who the deductibles are so high, the premiums are so high, they say, you know what, my family, we can't make it on this. And, you know, you talk about the people covered by Obamacare. Here's, here's something most people don't know. Most of the people covered by Obamacare are on Medicaid. They jammed a bunch more people in Medicaid. And I'll tell you what happens. People on Medicaid have markedly worse health outcomes Senator, than people with private insurance. Senator, we're I'd like to, to see a lot issues. more people on private insurance able we're to be get insured to for health care rather than, but, but it's relevant to, he's saying people are going to lose their health care. If you want health care, we want as many people as possible to be able to afford insurance policies that protect you when you get sick. We're or gonna, we're gonna, I, I want to just very briefly, go ahead. if you listen carefully to what he said, if you go to the doctor tomorrow and you are diagnosed with a terrible illness, the insurance companies do not have to provide you insurance. That is what Ted said. What he also said, if you have an illness, it has to be kept. But really, we are moving into an era where millions of people who develop terrible illnesses will not be able to get insurance and God only knows how many of them will die. So Senator Sanders, um, you just heard Senator Cruz bring up an issue that a lot of Americans have out there, especially a lot of middle class Americans who say that the Affordable Care Act has made it so that their insurance is unaffordable. One of them is our, in our audience right now. Her name is uh, Melissa Borkowski. She's a nurse practitioner from Florida. She's a mother of four. She and her husband are paying more than $1,000 a month to insure their family for a plan with a $13,000 deductible. Melissa? Good evening, Senators. Thank you for your time. As he said, I'm a nurse practitioner. I've worked in healthcare for over 25 years now. But under Obamacare, I'm not able to get the health services I need for myself or my family. Last year, I had a very abnormal pap smear and needed additional tests. But our plan has a $13,000 deductible before it will cover anything. So I wasn't able to afford to get those tests done. So now I sit here wondering if I have an undiagnosed cancer and that will eventually take me away from my four children. My plan premiums plus deductible cost over $25,000 for the year, and it covers little more than basic preventative services. Senator Sanders, my question is, why should we, my family be forced to pay so much money for an insurance plan that is essentially useless and Good. doesn't do anything Pam, for me? Pam? Melissa. 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 Sorry. Melissa, you ask a great question, and the answer is it is totally absurd. It is totally absurd. But the, the real question we should be asking, well, Melissa is talking about an outrageous deductible, right? Yes. So it prevents you from going to the doctor when you should be going. The real question, which is never talked about or very rarely talked about, is why we end up spending as a nation twice as much per capita on health care as do the people of any other country. 